that tight games. PSV hosting Sporting. PSV plus 150 tells you everything. Sporting plus 165. That means the draw is at plus 265, which means it's definitely a runner. The under over, again, it's flippum. It's the over three at minus 108. Under three at minus 112. PSV going great guns in River Dizzy. Ah, but Sporting are now all of a sudden being tipped to be the next best thing coming out of Portugal. Sporting to score twice, plus 100. PSV to score twice, minus 110. Brad, I'll come to you first because I don't know how you split these teams. Draw half time might be the way to go because two wrongs might make a right. It's so tight. I, I couldn't even start to break this down. I struggled with this match big time. And like when I look at my notes about this game, I didn't even have anything that was of note to back each side. I think you just, if you go with this game, you just try to take value as much value as you possibly can. And ultimately I thought the, uh, the Swedish striker over there for uh, sporting was a good one. Victor um, Gorkis or however you pronounce it. I'm, it it's the end of the G is silent. So I'm saying it incorrectly. Yeah, yeah, no, no you're G's probably silent. not. I'll make it up as it goes along. Yeah, it's, the G is silent. Cool. I just don't, I'm not really yeah. great at pronouncing his name. But Swedish striker named Victor, who pays for sporting, I think everyone knows who that is, is plus money to score in this match. Um, the man has been absolutely incredible mm. this season. He has 10 goals on in seven matches. Uh, I believe he scored in that um, in the Champions League match they played against last week, too. At plus 130, that's something that you want to consider. Uh, PSV, a squad who has a great talent, great scoring talent as well. That almost made me get to over three, but this match could end up being one of those where one side is just way more dominant and the other is going to have to kind of play catch up in this game. So I left it alone, but I mean, I think that's probably my best look. If I were to take something, it would be that anytime goal scorer prop. What about Sporting to avoid defeat? Uh, Sporting draw what is their no double bet. Chance? Minor, no, not double chance. Avoid defeat. Me, but can be pick them as well. Minus one hundred and two, okay. meaning you get your money back on the draw. I think this is one of those where you it could be a good in play because PSV, you're expecting them at home, Mina, to come out the traps, but Sporting, they love to hit you sharply. They love to suck you in, and as soon as you feel as if you've got them, then they will. Uh, they do have a sting like a scorpion. Uh, Harry Dockett, he says, penalty in the match. We've got good offences, good defences, but how good is this sport inside? Who's got a good defence? PSV? Yeah. No, everyone has a good defense to get in in Eredivisie if you have a better squad. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you say good defense when you look at their, you know, their their XGA is like one point five, um, one point, one point two, and that's because of the teams they're playing. I don't think it's because they're, you know, talented defensive in Europe. Yeah, which is something that we'll talk about with RB Leipzig as well. But yeah. exactly that, Brad. Um, I just, <laughs> uh, I think that we saw a lot of this, which was very uh, against. Juventus, they were like, oh, they've scored 20 goals coming into this game. They're just a firehouse. And then they created zilch, nano, yep. off, you know, against a team, to be honest with you, that plays with a slower tempo than you would imagine. Then what can sporting do? Under Ruben and Borum, this is a side that's all gung ho blazing, you know, that knows how to, that is defensively capable, that's only conceded two goals a game, that's got eight out of eight wins so far at the start of the season. Brilliant against uh, in, in the league, one against Steel, 2 0 had like a ton of shots even before the red card, if you want to blame that, you know. Um, sporting, I I did a show actually, because a lot of people had been asking me about them because apparently they are considered the dark horse of the competition, the team that could do something. And I think I'm, I'm who has been blamed in the past of being a little bit tactical naive because he's too gung-ho, seems to have sort of changed the way that he's approached things. And he seems very secure of his team doing well. He's secure of them defensively. He's secure of them going forward. There's a lot of talent within that side. But they're also very wily and very cunning. And I think that that works well against a, a Peter Bosch side. Peter Bosch, for me, is a, a, a coach that you have who's just perfect for the Eredivisie, right? It's all attack all the time, relatively imbalanced as a, as a unit overall, and it doesn't get exposed. He got exposed when he was in the Bundesliga and in charge of Borussia Dortmund when the pressure is on and you have a real team and you're playing for actual expectations. But I think that when it comes to this, they are at home. They should be a lot better than they were against Juventus because they are playing at home. But Sporting have actually a very good record away from home. And so I'm, I'm interested to see how, how much they can win this by. This should be a both teams to score. 
but I'll be damned if I'll ever bet on Peter Bosch, to be honest with you. So <laughs> oh, yeah. um, uh, just because I, I do think that they, the way that they're playing, the confidence they have, the 3-0 victory over the weekend against Estoril, I just think that the way they are going at the moment, they're full of of everything that they need right now. Irving Lozano may be missing. Serginio Dest is definitely missing. So I'm with I'm all the way with Ruben Amorim. They they beat Estoril three 0 at the weekend. Yeah. Do you know what the score was at half time? Uh, and it's not a trick question. Uh, it's only because I had something wrote down in some of the notes I do, and obviously I do books of notes over just it was, a twenty four uh, hour period. Two 0 at half. Okay. Let me tell you now, I think 10 out of their 11 games have been leading at half time. Because it was 9 out of 10 before the weekend, and I did pencil it, didn't get to the window because I had another 67 matches to try and cap. And, the only uh, one keep they eye. didn't this season was uh, against Porto, but a match they ended up winning 2 0. Yeah. Thank so you, you want to go for a half time win for them then? That's no, another I'm, no, I'm going to get to that and I'm going to tee you up because I also wrote that the first 20 minutes, if PSV are not leading after 20 minutes, then the sporting price might go up to plus 180 or you can bet them to be leading at half time. Once uh, the fizz has gone out of that initial home, first 20 minutes, try and dominate. If they don't get a reward in that first 20 minutes, if it's still nil nil, then jump on sporting because you could do sporting, draw no bet, at probably plus 120. So, again, let's have a little look at the official picks. It all seems to be pointing to the away side, but let's wait and see how that first 20 minutes goes. Sporting and over one and a half, a massive plus 210. Like that, Mina. I like it. 